guys, Dave Lalonic, Sticky RX. So the Toyota production system, TPS, is known to have two pillars. Number one, respect for people, and number two, continuous improvement. So as I learn about this, I've been given this concept a lot of thought, and I thought to myself, well, what would be two pillars of a subset continuous improvement? And to me, those pillars would be humility and curiosity. So without humility, how can you possibly improve? You know, people with big egos think they know it all and they're not open to new ideas. They lack humility to say, hmm, maybe I don't know everything. Hmm, maybe there is a better way. So if you lack that characteristic, it's going to be impossible to practice continuous improvement. Similarly, if you don't have curiosity, it's the same thing. If you don't look at a process and say, wow, you know, what if we change this a little bit or we move this over here and we did a couple little modifications, would that yield a better result, perhaps better quality, less defects, therefore less over-processing? If you don't have that mind where you're curious about running experiments and trying different things to see what kind of results you're gonna get, often you're gonna fail, but you're gonna learn from your failure and you're going to succeed. So as I give this concept some thought, you really can't have a high level continuous improvement culture without those two pillars, humility and curiosity. If you don't have those characteristics, you just simply can't have daily Kaizen and you can't continually improve. There you go. Thanks for watching.